Okay, welcome once again. So for this session, we will be uh, creating an entitlement and we will be assigning that entitlement to a local user. So let's go ahead and log into our SPP. Okay. And let's log in as an administrator. A few seconds here. Okay, let's go to administrative tool. Let's click on entitlement. And there's nothing here yet, so let's create a new one. We'll call this entitlement. Um, well, before we go there, let's re review our assets here. And what we have are two assets uh, we previously configured. And the entitlement that we're going to create is for Santa's 01 asset. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and let's go back here to entitlement and go ahead and create a new entitlement. Let's call this Santa 01. Um, entitlement well, one. Okay, so it's just uh, for testing. Next, um, we'll leave the. Uh, we're not going to use that time restriction for this one, so we'll just leave the default here. Create add entitlement. Now let's assign user. Who is this entitlement for? So uh, let's click on add here and let's choose our previously created. Uh, User um, Zoe. Oops, sorry. Zoe. Zoe. Uh, okay, it's for, for Zoe. Oh, there we go. Zoe Kimber. Select Zoe Kimber. Click OK. And now we know that the entitlement is for Zoe Kimber. And now that we can create uh, access policy. So click on Add here. And um, you can just give it a random name here. Um, let's say uh, um, okay, let's go on um, account. So, oh, let's just say that uh, Zoe Kimber can access, uh, can check out a kind of request for operators on on CentOS 01. Okay, again, scope. Let's add an account here, and let's say here are the uh, from the operator group of CentOS uh, 01. We have A Smith and J Barnett. So let's click. Let's select those two accounts. Click on OK. So um, we, let's go to the next. Uh, tab here, requester. We just uh, leave that as a default approver. Uh, in this case, we'll just create, uh, we'll just select auto approve reviewer. We don't need any uh, reviewer for this example, and we'll just leave everything else as default here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's just go back to general here. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to uh, select password here. So we are accessing or requesting for a password password of either ASMIT or, or J Barnett. And both of them are uh, under the uh, operator group of uh, CentOS 01 um, resource or, you know, uh, asset. Okay, uh, let's go next. Next, again, auto approve. We're not requiring review. Next, uh, yes, access status password. This, that, um, this is not applicable in this scenario. We're not using um, uh, time restriction here, and we're not enabling uh, emergency access. Okay, let's go ahead and create that access policy. Okay, and there it is. Access policy created. Let's try it out. Let's log in as. Uh, uh, Kimber, uh, Zoe Kimber. So let's see that uh, Z Kimber password. Again, um, we're using a local authentication here. It's a local user. Login. 
give it a few seconds here okay now let's try a new request here and now we can see that uh, we can either request for or check out account password for ASMIT or jbarnet on Santa's 01 uh, resource. And that's it for now. Thank you.